There's two here. Three, four, five, That's six. That's the prettiest. Dude, there's three right there. Look at all the ones coming out of that. Whoa. Dude, there's rattlesnakes everywhere. So right now, the Northeast has been blanketed by wildfire smoke from Canada. And it's legitimately hazardous to be breathing outside. It feels like doomsday. But if it were doomsday, me and Bob, we'd be looking for snakes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're out, we're looking for rattlesnakes today. Maybe hognose snakes. It's overcast. It feels nice out. And uh, while everyone else is inside, we're gonna see what we can find. All right, so Bob thought he had a big water snake shed, but this is a giant black hognose shed that he found. So clearly the snakes are out in this area. It's just a matter of finding them, I guess. There's the eye scale. Yeah, look at that. That's neat. Look at that. Super dark, super, super big. Pretty neat. We're just gonna leave it where we found it, but pretty cool. All right, so I almost just stepped on this hog nose right here. You can see he's hooding up. He's just kind of chocolatey colored. He's not really a stunning looking one. He's got a little bit of yellow bleeding through, but as you can see, nice adult. I'm gonna try not to make it play dead, but it's being pretty active, jumping around as they do. He's starting to musk. I'll do it. He's gonna, look at you. What's wrong with you, man? We didn't even touch you. Looks like he's got a meal right there. Let's hope he doesn't throw that up. Looks like he's trying to. But for the record, we didn't even really touch the snake. All right, so first uh, hazmat hog out here, trying to get pricked by his fangs. He rolls around. Uh, we always try not to make hogs play dead. Not that it's the end of the world, but I just imagine it's not the most pleasant experience, but some are way more inclined to play dead than others. This one we didn't even touch. We just kind of corralled, stood around, and uh, it played dead just like that. You can see it's drooling all over the place, but luckily it didn't vomit, so that's a plus. Just played dead and we're gonna cover him up in some leaves, put him in a safe place, and he'll come back to life. All right, we're just gonna put this hog nose right here. Make sure he's not out in the elements for a predator to get them, and we're going to keep looking around. Huh. Just spotted this guy, nice hog nose. Well, nice enough. And I actually, I think I recognize this snake from last year. I think you and Alex even saw this one too. So, yeah. It's a big kind of orange old female, and I don't know if they gestate or have eggs year after year, but it kind of seems like, unless this is a resident snake, that's what it's doing. So that's really good to see that the snake is still alive, well, and healthy. And we're not gonna bother her too much. We'll just get a couple good shots and then we'll leave her to it. So this one is also in shed. Hopefully we'll get to see a nicer one that's out of shed. Whoa, it's taking off. We're probably just gonna let it go on its way here and we're gonna keep hiking. Cool. That's so cool. Look how high it was raising its head. All right, I guess we'll just leave it to it, you know. Nice cobra, though. He's disappearing, I think. Yeah, he's gone under a rock over here. Oh, no, he's coming back out into the open. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, that racer was basking somewhere around here and he scared the crap out of me for whatever reason. Took off. All right, so we took the mask off for a second because it was pandemonium. There's a really charged up hog and we have it under this Frisbee, which happens to be the same color as the hog does. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more neon, but it's a really pretty hog nose. We have them under here. We're trying to get them to chill out. We're going to get our camera gear out, and then you guys are going to get a look at it. Okay. It's funny. He looks like brown right now, but when he expands, oh my god. Look at that orange on the sides. That's a unique looking one. 
The back half's better. Yeah, I get him under quick. He's, he's looking like he's gonna go. Don't play dead on us. I don't think he wants to, to be honest. Beautiful habitat too here to be finding them in. This is just awesome. Low bush blueberry all over the place. And come on here. Oh my gosh, what a freaking. You can see how orange his belly is. He's cool looking. Yeah, this is a nice looking hog. Sneaky nice. Yeah, it's like, it's not one of those like screamer orange ones, but it's like got all these cool pinkish tones and whatnot. That's a beautiful one. Man, it's just not coming out on camera though. He just looks like a tan hog, but. The reds are actually really strong. I know, it's like they're, it's, he's got like a really cool gray base color, like gray and tan, and then he's got the orange bleeding through. Like he's just really unique looking to some of the others I found here. I just think like it's got so many different colors going on at once. Like it's got yellows, it's got blacks, and then it's like, on, it's like silver on the head and the sides like up against the oranges it's like it's silver it's just a pleasant looking snake anyway we've geeked out about the snake long enough we're gonna let him go in a second here I'm trying to just let him slither off in the bushes here there we go <laughs> look at that eager to leave All right, Bob just spotted three rattlesnakes. Whoa, you just came right around the corner and here they are. Where's the third? There's a black and two yellows in shed. See a three, just look for the heads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Holy, oh, so they must've come out of that crack I was talking about, or actually probably right there. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, that's awesome. We knew we'd turn up rattlesnakes eventually hiking around here. Check that out. They're all in shed. It seems like everything's in shed right now. That's pretty awesome. As you can see, they could not be any calmer other than a little bit of rattling. Like this is where we are and we're gonna leave them alone, but just chill, chill snakes. All right, so we're gonna leave these nice rattlesnakes chilling right there. We're over here and we're going that way. All right, Bob just looked down and said, there's another one, thinking we had a big timber rattlesnake. But way down, where is it, right here? There you go. Got a big dark hog nose. I think we're probably just, I'm gonna leave that one where it is. And we're just gonna keep moving along. But that's cool. All right, Bob just spotted another, oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh god, I was looking at that one. There's one right there. Can you imagine just... No, well, I started walking that way and saw okay. him. Like... Whoa. Okay, so double double doozy right here. This one looks like he's gonna move. Okay, so that's where they came from. Yeah, this is the type of day where I guess they're just fully out pancaked, which is awesome. It's a nice looking yellow. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, I have not seen enough timber rattlesnakes in the past few years. I feel like I've focused on other species, but this year I'd like to see more of these guys because like, what an impressive creature. And as you can see, they're really, really placid. Bob's right here. Here's this snake. There's one in the crack right there. And they want nothing to do with us. Obviously that one ran away. This one's chilling out and we're probably gonna move before this one takes off too because we should let it stick out and bask. I'm trying to keep the mask on, but it's it's hard to breathe in it. And we're hiking up slopes and stuff. In case my wife is watching this, I've been wearing this the whole time. I've been wearing it the whole time. You want to walk up with me? Let's do it. All right, we're filming before walking up on this one. <laughs> that was kind of creepy rolling right up on that one rattlesnake on camera before just because I wasn't expecting it there's got to be one hanging out all right so Bob just spotted another rattlesnake check him out dusty little guy but 
pretty cool. All right, I, I see another hog nose down here. You see it right here? It's on this steep embankment. I'm standing on top of the hill. That's cool. Let's see, I might just look at him puffing up. I'm gonna bring him up into this flatter grassy area. Oh, he's cold too. Dude, there's one right here. No way, really? <laughs> I'm almost standing on it. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Hold on, here, let's drop him up here. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Then we've got another right here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Here, I'll pull this one up. Let's move him into the grass. Oh. This one's definitely gravid. It's fat Holy as... Shoot, that thing is fat. Yeah, what if they start trying to mate, like, right That'd now? I don't know what the male... Well, maybe male is doing right now. That's kind of crazy. Dude, he's definitely, like, sniffing her and... Yeah, he is. ...checking her out. They were right next to each other. Like, we got it live on camera. That's awesome. That is cool. This gray one is finally chilled out. I feel like I need to speak extra loud with the mask. All right, so we've got this gray one paddied out and finally settled down a little bit. And we've got this big landmine over here. And we've got Bob. Looking like he's from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Alright, the big female's taken off. And it looks like she knows exactly where she's going. We'll let her kind of go on our way here. I don't want to spook her off the edge of this ledge here. So we'll just let her... She was actually basking like right around there. And she's looking for a hole. It looks like. So we'll let her on our way. All right, Bob's climbing down to where this one was. We're just gonna make sure that it's got some leaves on it and it's not totally out in the open. It's like a burial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so despite completely smoky conditions, we're making out okay today. And obviously we don't wanna stay out too long cause really can't be too good for us being out like this. And uh, they're recommending we stay inside. So I, I think we're gonna cut it short sometime soon. All right, I've just spotted a pile. Oh my God, dude, I see so many. I see three, four, five. Uh, one of them's starting to go in already over there. There goes one. But look at this pile right here, dude. Right there. Holy yeah, we should roll up on that before they take off. There's all sheds in front of this one, dude. There's two here, three, four, five, That's six. That's the prettiest. Dude, there's three right there. That's freaking awesome, dude. Look at all the sheds. This must be like the- This is a gestation spot. The primary gestation spot. Look at all the ones coming out of that. Whoa. Dude, there's rattlesnakes everywhere. One, two, three, four. We had five, six. There's one under that slab. That's the first one I saw. One. So what do we got? Seven at least. There's two here. You got two here? Oh yeah, I see the head of that one. So is that eight, you think? Uh, here? Yeah, eight just God. right here. I think, there. did you count the one under there? That's not Or it. there was one that was right there, padded, that went under before you got up. Dude, I love that yellow right there. It's like a brown, it's like a brownish yellow. Yeah. Oh, there's one right here under the slab. Or did that one crawl up? Uh, I have no idea at this point. <laughs> wild. Look at that one under there. Look. Oh my God. one right there. Yeah. So that's, is that 10 here? At least. It's like 10 or 11, dude. This one looks pissed. Just gotta be very, very careful not to step on anything. But I did see... Dude, is this one? There's one under this. Look, 
See the sheds right here? There's sheds everywhere. Yeah, this is definitely like the primary den or gestation yeah, site. Yeah. I think it's gestation. So you got all right, so uh, Bob's got a piece out. We just got back from a really long hike. I'm gonna head back home and I'm gonna check some reliable milk snake spots, see if I can get a couple more snakes in the day. So I'll see you guys there. All right, if you're no stranger to my channel, you've seen me flip these rocks before. There's some sheds, but it's very, it's a very good spot. Oh man. All right, surprisingly, this is our first of these of the day. I didn't have a free hand, so had to uh, put down the camera to flip that rock. Pretty cool though, ringneck snake, it's in shed. You can see these are cool little guys. Gotta love them. Again, I'm whiffing on the flip clip. All right, these ones are much more vibrant, as you can tell. I mean, gotta appreciate a ringneck snake. Classic. I used to find these as a kid. I still like finding them. And the ticks are relentless today. All right, make sure these guys get back where they're going here. Whoa. Hey now, look at that, that's a big ring neck. You can see there's a garter snake with it too. I'm just gonna send them down the crack so that I can put the rock back. Oh, ring necks and a garter. I gotta put the rock down, hold on. All right, I had to put the camera down and I got those snakes out of there safely. It's kind of hard doing this and filming by myself, but this is pretty cool. It's a little ring neck snake shed. You can actually see the ring around the neck. See that lighter white stripe? It's kind of neat. It's not from that ring neck that was under there because that guy was in shed. So interesting. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it back in the crack here. Keep looking. under here. Alright guys, I just made it home. No milk snake to end the day, but we did get a couple common snakes on the board, so pretty awesome. And can't really beat the day we had already with all those rattlesnakes and a couple really nice hog noses. So, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and subscribe if you're new to the channel.